Hello real life fans, I am back again with another video of Girl of the Day and we will be discussing Cinderella Mahiru as suggested by one of the people in the comment. So we will be discussing her and her skills and if she is actually good in PvE or PvP and where is she best suited to use him. So, Cinderella Mahiru is a wind front unit and her skills are these. So, um, usually um, she's actually an old character and usually um, sage girls like these don't really do well in PvP because if we have two or at least one skill that does not help your team or does not benefit you or the enemy team that only means that she's her skills are just filler so basically if you get her card there's a high chance for her to not even do anything but attack so let's get and dive into her skills so she does smash low damage in front enemy basic comfort <laughs> comfort of brilliance hp recovery to ally with lowest hp and low brilliance recovery to self so comfort of brilliance is actually pretty meh because she's not really her skill set is actually not really meant to be for a support but she's more of a front lane tank so um if you have her, if you don't have any nice unit, if you want a healer, sure, you can use her. But it will come with a very low chance of her getting the HP recovery. And it will only just heal one ally, which is, I don't think it's just, it's not that good. Because there are other stage girl units who could actually heal at least two allies. So there's Steering Concerto, which provokes all enemies and gives evasion to self. So this is good at the start. Just so that she dodges one attack but i think her skill set is not really good for attack maybe they added comfort of brilliance in order for her to heal if she is the lowest person with <laughs> the lowest hp so her climax act is time limit cinderella which gives high damage and chance to stop three front enemies okay so where is she good and where is she <laughs> not good? Um, PvP, I've actually encountered when I was starting PvP. I've encountered a couple of Cinderella Mahiros and Cinderella Lalavins. So, um, this is the Cinderella you don't want. You prefer the other Cinderella. But her skills are actually not bad for very, very early PvP. And I guess it will reach until let's say S at the highest where she's actually pretty valid um, I'm confident enough that you could use her until A because people there don't have much maxed up ranked units and they don't have a proper team comp yet okay why is she bad in PvP it's because her skills are not really that good her the High damage and stop is actually pretty nice, but the chance to stop may be just 30% or like less than that. So it's pretty clutch and you'll never know if you're gonna be able to stop them for sure. Um, her provoke is, I guess, the only good thing for a tank. But there are better units, front units, who have better provoke. Like let's say Sun Goddess Maya or... I guess the Mal Fox or any other provokes from other front tank laners are better than hers because her skills are not really supporting what she's meant to do. She is meant to tank, but I guess provoke and the stop are the only useful ones. So, in order for her to get all of these, you have to give her a Brilliance Memoir, a Brilliance Fortitude Memoir, or um, have a stage girl with brilliance re recovery. So her other skills are fortitude, evade, and confuse and resistance. So 
Um, this stage girl has a very nice um, auto skill since if it is really good, you won't be able to get hit at the start. Um, Fortitude is also very good because that's what everyone uses in PvP. So I suggest if you're going to use her in PvP, and since you don't have any other units, let's say, um, I think it is best to give her a speed memoir to outspeed some units and use your ult climax act at once. Or you could just give her a brilliance memoir so that by turn 2 you'll be able to have her stop. So using her is very situational since you'd want to use stop in order for the front laners to not provoke you or even aggro you. And this is very situational and I really don't suggest her for high level PvP, but if in case you have no other choice, I suggest, yeah, do that. Make sure that she has her climax act in order to stop the three front enemies. Especially the three front enemies are the ones who are capable of provoking, um, disabling, and giving pro different buffs to the team. If you guys notice in the mid row meta, like let's say Snow White, or let's say Perseus, or Moriarty. So yeah, there's that. PvE wise, um, I don't think she's actually that good either, but let's say it's just a simple boss, enemy boss, I guess you'd also not, you won't be able to solo anything with her in PvE, but you'll be able to do well as a tank if you're gonna form a wind team like a wind element team with different wind girl units, yes, she could actually excel in that since she's going to be provoking um, the enemy team for quite a while and she'll tank all the damage while your other teammates are there charging their climax axe and attacking the boss. So if I were given a chance to roll for her, will I roll for her? Personally, no. But she's pretty. I really find her pretty. Look, she, look at her, she's so pretty. But um, as a straightforward review on Cinderella Mahiru, thank you for leaving in, in the comments and actually allowing me to discuss it. So uh, final verdict is PvP, no, PvE, meh. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you want to know more about other stage girl units, you can just, you know, comment down below. I'll be leaving my Discord <laughs> my discord down there so that you guys could add me and message me so i hope you guys enjoyed this girl of the day episode and see you guys next time bye